From Case Western Reserve University, this is the Research Report, highlighting discoveries for life. Can you tell me what this is? Darlene Schroeder was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease several years ago. Oh, it's a harmonica. But her son never loses hope for a cure as researchers make exciting discoveries. I think there could be a cure from Cleveland. Dr. Mark Smith of the Case Western Reserve University School of Medicine is one of the top three Alzheimer's investigators in the world, according to the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease. Smith is among the many researchers at Case Western Reserve who've made significant strides in Alzheimer's disease. So the major discoveries in the lab are that oxidative stress, free radicals, are involved in the disease, suggesting that antioxidants could be of value. And also we found that Alzheimer's disease is very similar to cancer in many respects. And so we think that there could be similar therapeutic opportunities. Dr. Smith isn't the only one developing new treatment options. One of the principal activities in this laboratory is to try and understand what the, one of the major genetic factors for Alzheimer's disease does. In a eureka moment, Dr. Landreth's team discovered that a certain compound in the body helps clear amyloid beta, a protein believed to form plaques in the brain, a hallmark feature of Alzheimer's. As a result, a new class of drugs is being tested, aimed at clearing amyloid from the brain. See this shape? Mm -hmm. Make another one like it anywhere on the page. Discoveries move from the lab to life at the University Memory and Aging Center. We're very proud of the fact that we're one of the busiest uh, clinical drug centers in the United States. The center provides an integrative program of clinical care, research, and education. What I want is to see my patients get better. That's why we keep going. Uh, great job, good. This is the Research Report from Case Western Reserve University. For more discoveries for life, visit case.edu.